in this video, we're going to talk about the difference between a data analyst and a data engineer. Now, if you're not sure which role is right for you, or maybe you're just trying to make a career change for yourself and get into the tech industry, then you've came to the right video. Let's go ahead and let's dive right in. The world of data is huge. The amount of data that just one company alone works with is unimaginable. Now imagine thousands of companies out there working with data. Thousands upon thousands upon tens of thousands of companies out there. Data is the life and blood of a company. What I'm trying to say is that data is everything. Now, who works with this data? The people who work with this data are data analysts and data engineers. You could be working on this data. That is why data analysts and data engineers are in so much demand today. So let's dive into this right now. Let's first talk about what value does a data analyst bring to a company? Now, the way that data analyst brings value to that company is that they take data and they take that data and translate it into a human language that anyone can understand. The main job of a data analyst is to take that information, that raw data, and use that information that could be used to change the trajectory of your company. The responsibilities of a data analyst could be things such as data cleaning, uh, data analysis, of course, right? <laughs> and even on top of that, data visualization, meaning taking that data and presenting it in a way that someone can understand via charts, graphs, pretty much anything visual to make the information easier to read. Data analysts helps companies, even if not small teams, optimize their focus to make better data-driven decisions. Which is like really cool when you think about it, right? Like data analysts have big responsibilities. Just, just think about it. Like you yourself could be responsible for individually changing the trajectory of a company, maybe as a team. <laughs> That's why data analysts are so important right now. So now let's look at what skills, what does it take to even become a data analyst today in 2022? So to become a data analyst, you typically need to have a bachelor's degree. Some companies do require you to have a master's degree as well. And these degrees can range from anything from computer science to statistics to math, anything similar to that. On top of that though, technical skills will help a lot, right? It, it is not necessarily required to have the most technical skills, at least based upon my research, but technical skills could be a big plus in helping you land that job on top of someone else who may not be as technical as you. For example, having some knowledge of Python, being able to write in SQL will help a lot. And then even on top of the technical skills, data analysts need to know data modeling, um, data handling, or even data cleaning as well. But some technical skills are required and having good technical skills will help you in the long term. Now, let's get to the good part. <laughs> let's look at what data analysts actually earn in this country. So I'm gonna look at four different places. We'll look at Las Vegas, we'll look at Austin, Texas, San Francisco, and we'll look at New York, okay? So we can just look at different cost of living situations and what data analysts earn around the United States. So in Las Vegas, the average data analyst makes about $74,200. That's not bad at all. Now, if you move to Austin, Texas, where the cost of living is even lower, in Austin, Texas, a data analyst makes about $63,000 a year. And in San Francisco, a data analyst makes about $84,000 a year, while in New York, a data analyst makes about $77,000 a year. It's not bad at all. It's pretty decent money. And please note, these are just the averages, right? I'm using talent.com to get these averages right now. But if you just go to LinkedIn, you go to indie.com, you can look at the high paying jobs that people are receiving as a data analyst. I know people who live in Vegas. It says that the average salary of a data analyst in Vegas is $74,000 a year. But I have friends who live in Vegas who make about $180,000 a year. So of course, that depends on companies that you work for too. Work for a smaller company and potentially earn a small salary. Or if you work for a bigger company, company or a, an up and coming startup, your pay will only go up from there. That's enough of data analysts. Let's go to data engineering now, right? So we saw what a data analyst brings to the company, how valuable data analysts are, what they can do. But now let's look at data engineering. So data engineering is huge. It's very important. Now, what value does a data engineer bring to their company? So data engineers, what they do is that they build the things that allow data analysts to do their jobs in the first place. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's true. It's, it's true. It's true. And we'll, we'll dive into my second why right now. And so, like I said earlier, the life and blood of a company is data. Therefore, these companies need their data to be as 
correct as possible, to be up to date as possible, and to be readily available and give them instant access whenever they need it. Now, who has a job to maintain and make sure that all the data is readily available to the data engineer? So what a data engineer does is that they set up the data pipelines, which also require highly technical skill to do so in the first place, hence why they're paid so well. And we'll go into salaries in a second. So why do data engineers need this high technical skill in the first place? This is because data engineers need to be able to pull multiple sources of data in different formats and then place them in one place that a data analyst can work with. That's not easy. It's not easy at all. And not, not just that, it can take days. It can take hours and hours and hours to just to get one thing done which is why we have Airbyte and we make the process a lot faster. <laughs> so check out our website. <laughs> anyway, anyway, and so with data engineers focusing on making sure that we are able to have all the data accurate and readily available for data analysts to work with, this allows data analysts to do their job of focusing on just analyzing data rather than moving data from one place to another, right? That's why they both also really work well together. They need each other. So now let's look at what skills you need as a data engineer to get a job in the industry and make sure you do well. This is just a short list of some technical skills you need to have in your sleeve to make sure you can get the job done. So one, it starts with data warehousing, knowledge of SQL, Java, and of course, Python that can um, include things like Pandas or Airflow, AWS, Azure, you name it, all these advanced technical skills, even when it comes to working with Hadoop and just knowledge of data architecture as well. And more and more and more and more. It's going to keep going. Now that we know what skills that you need to have as a data engineer, and even on top of that, what they do for a living, and there's much more. And of course, in what I just said, let's now look at what a data engineer is paid. And just to give you a heads up, data engineers do get paid more, at least from this list and from my experience of working with friends who work as data engineers as well, right? And what they told me when they told me their salaries. So let's look at this first. Now let's look at Las Vegas. The average data engineer in Las Vegas makes about $126,000 a year in Austin, Texas. Interestingly enough, even though I think cost of living is cheaper in Texas, or at least in Austin, Texas, the average salary of a data engineer in Austin, Texas is $130,000 a year. That could be because a, there's a lot of tech companies actually moving and are in Austin, Texas right now as well. Now in San Francisco, of course, they're going to get paid more. In San Francisco, a data engineer makes about $149,000 a year. When we move all the way across the country, we'll look at New York. A data engineer makes about $135,000 a year. Pays pretty much up there, but why? It does require more technical skill to get the job done as a data engineer, hence why they tend to be paid more. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you can, please leave a like. If not, leave a comment. Whether you liked the video or not, let me know if I missed anything. If there's anything I'm wrong about, let me know too so I can improve from that. But anyway, thank you all for watching the video, and I will see y'all next time. My name is Chris. I'll see y'all later.